and really need to do in order to kind of finalize this layout. Um, I still have some overset text here um, because there's um, I've resized and added images. You know, I have a big gap here, so I might want to add another image. Um, I have some widows um, or some near widows. I have this kind of two lines just kind of all by itself there, which I'm not really satisfied with. Uh, I mainly need to get, you know, deal with this oversize or overset text. I've added all the photo captions, so I'm just using that um, that object style called image, uh, sorry, caption style. So I've added that caption style um, to those photo captions. And so, and then I also have actually, I have some missing images here. And I think because I was kind of toggling between a couple folders on my computer, kind of forgetting um, what I was doing. Um, I'm just gonna uncheck this and make sure I have the right um, style applied. I can, f I feel like this is just a little bit no, nope. somehow it looked like it had like, oh yeah, see it had this effect, this, it wasn't, that's funny how I did that. I had accidentally, I guess, applied an object style, or in that object style, I had a transparency. I didn't mean to do that, so I'm just going to uncheck that, and I should, um, something is really just not working with my, <laughs> with my object styles, but that's what it should look like. And see, when I did that and I changed the object style, now they're all clear and bright and don't have that effect um, because it's all kind of programmed into that style. Um, and so it will automatically update every image that I have that style associated with it um, to get rid of that, um, that effect. Um, so that looks more like it. Okay, so a couple things I might want to do is I might want to change the folios on this page to white. I have, definitely have to get rid of that um, overset text. That might be actually solved um, just by increasing this frame to the bottom of the page. Let's see what happens there. No, I still have some overset text, so I'm going to have to deal with that. You know, it might I might have, you know, do something like increase the width of this column of text. And then likewise, when I do that, I'm also going to have to increase the width of this image if I can grab it. So I'm just going to just, um, lock that text, um, that image frame, sorry, that text. Um, and yeah, as soon as I did that, um, now I have all of the text in there. So I don't have any overset text anymore. I do have some other errors though. So I'm just going to click, click on this little pre-flight um, um, little tab at the bottom of my frame. And so I'm just missing images. So if I go, I can see that they're missing in my pre-flight. I will be able to see in my links window as well that those little um, icons next to the images um, are appearing and that means they're missing and they should also appear as missing. Um, yes, when I have the W, I have the margins viewable. So that just means InDesign is not able to find them because I think I was kind of toggling between different folders. So if that's the case, if you have images that are missing, you absolutely must relink them. Um, you do never ever want this error or this warning sign to be appearing in your document so if that is the case you can either click on the relink button here and then just locate it in your browser um, alternatively let's see what happens when i have this one if i just double click it as well um nope and it will do the same thing so i think just because i was like i said toggling between different folders so i'm just going to relink this one and it says what the, the name of the file is here at the very top of this frame. So you can hopefully use that as um, to find it. I think I had it, I, I think I had it in two different folders, one on my BCIT folder, and another one on my desktop. So I'm just gonna use the one um, on my BCIT because I think they're all there and there it is. So if I go into links and I just locate one of those, see what happens when I locate one of them, because all those images are within that folder, it should automatically update all of them. I only have to do one. Yeah, so it found all the three other ones. So now that error is still there. There's still an error. Oh, because I had that from a different folder. So I'm gonna go into my, um, no, sorry, this one is, I need to locate it here. That one, if I double click it, we'll find it within the document and there it is and I can go relink. And then it's that one here. Okay, 
so no more errors perfect I do have that widow here I have that one little line of text that I don't want all by itself so I'm gonna have to do some a little bit of rejigging um, let me zoom in a tiny bit you know things like what could I do to make this a little bit um, I'm actually yeah, go into my layers my text layer so maybe you know the width of this I change that let's see what happens when I do that that kind of creates that big kind of white space at the bottom of that um, um, uh, page that might be more suitable you know if I go back and just resize that a little bit just to you know maybe see what that looks like I kind of like having some that have are not so tight you know this one I might want to move this up um, I might actually want to move this one up as well and then that might be actually control Z that um, and then what happens now here um, you know there's some I definitely see some orphans there those are not my favorite so I might do a little bit more finessing if I had the time um, but you know just for now let's see what we can do yeah now I still have some overset text so let's see what we can do here I think maybe I will increase the width of that frame I'm going to yeah get rid of that that one obviously is a problem so if I bring this one up and then that looks a lot better yeah okay so toggling between the windows tab and W and then I'm just going to go full width tab to get rid of all those windows again you know I still have this you know this being only two lines here at the top so um, you know this is just all really dependent on the size of your frames and your columns and sorry the um, the width of your text frames and your images um, you know if I'm now if I want to because of that I might want to move this up a bit um, do I have overset text now now I might want to bring this one down and then I might want to yeah that's looking better now okay um, you know personally I don't mind having that big gap at the bottom you know you might feel differently you might want to have uh, I mean maybe if this one was this text frame can I grab the text frame there it is if I make that yeah something like that and then I can increase the size of that image frame and then maybe that gets moved over to that I'm gonna move that up as well so I just um, um, select that sorry that image within that frame by clicking on that bullseye and just moving that image about a bit so I can see what I'm doing and then just kind of maybe make this aligned to one of the columns something like that uh, control oh zoom I think I'm gonna move this a bit to just decrease the size of that slightly um yeah so that kind of is making it look a little bit more evenly spaced and then um, and then I might want to um, I might want to actually change this to white so this folio is to white now remember um, anything the master is locked so it's going to be anything that's applied to the master is locked on the actual pages but I can technically unlock it so it, in this um, this spread I want to change this folio to white if I mean if that doesn't bother you fine but I'm gonna I want to change it to white so the way I change it because it is locked and I also have to unlock the master items um, I need to actually do this thing called if I select the spread that I want to unlock um, something from the master um, do this little hamburger and go um, all uh, override all master page items and when I do that you'll see that those disappear because now the text frame or the text wrap is applied so I need to go into um, excuse me uh, object text frame options and then ignore those 
Um, and likewise for, I'm going to just, actually I'm going to turn off my images for a second so I can see what that is. And then I'm going to go here and go um, text frame options again, ignore the text wrap and that reappears. And then I'm just going to select both of those. And then in my swatches, I'm going to click on the text formatting and I'm going to call it white. So, or paper. Now those are all white and they're unlockable. They're unlocked. So be careful. Um, if I want to lock them again, I just have to go click on that layer and lock them. So I avoid manipulating them or changing them or doing something to them. You know, you can move this around. You can do whatever you want to this layout. Um, this is totally up to you, but that's something that you might want to play with and finesse and change things around. And then if there's any last little thing in here, yeah, those orphans and widows, um, you know, I'm a stickler for these kind of things. So I actually go into my document and I make sure that there are things like, um, uh, you know, I don't like this rag personally. I would bump that down. So all I did was go, instead of go, um, I'll turn on my invisible so you can see what that looks like, or hidden characters. Uh, they're called invisibles in Illustrator. And then if you press W, oh, I had them on before, so show it in characters and so I, I think this person I don't like the rag I don't like how this line ends or line ending up so if I press enter I'm going to get that big paragraph double space so if I press shift enter instead oops shift enter I just bumped that down to the next line and that looks a little bit um, more to my liking I'm just actually going to move this down even to the bottom of the page a little bit more something like that maybe yeah you know, maybe this, maybe that would look better. That would look better. So I just did a, either a, in my style, my um, control here, a right aligned or my paragraph window, a right aligned. And maybe that's going to look better. So this is left aligned and that's left aligned. Right aligned and this is left aligned. So maybe something like that. Um, you know, again, that's connected to the text on the next page. So I'm not sure how far away I want that to be from it, but that's just one thing that I might suggest. Um, and then, um, I go in oh, and then I just get rid of like, you know, I don't like having, um, <clears throat> lines end with short words. So I always go shift return to kind of bump those down and I make sure that, um, just kind of the rags look good. So, you know, having this word several looks to me a little bit strange. That little word ah, ah looks strange to me. You know, I might pop down that the and that it is that. So that last sentence and then that little short little word all by itself at the end of that line looks not great. Even the period she when I do that, the other rag now changes. So you might want to just go that, you know, I personally, yeah, when there's like an end of a sentence and then a little short word, at the end of a line that always kind of irks me. So I always do a shift return to bump that down. And I might do that as well for like at this and is now this is really, really nitpicky. Um, kind of um, typesetting, but um, this is what I do when I'm designing anything. I like to have a nice rag and I make sure that there's not these like little short lines at um, the um, end of the lines. Um, things like, oh, you know, I'm not crazy about having that kind of two lines, but technically that's kind of it's not great, but I'm just going to leave it for now because it's um, going to take a little bit of doing to undo, to make that um, work properly. So, you know, I might want to just oh, undo that one. Um, do, 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 do. There's, you know, there is a whole bunch of um, stuff about typesetting and making all of this look very, very, very professional and very spaced out properly, but I'm not going to go into anything more than that. Just kind of fixing the rag, making sure that there's not any extreme widows or orphans. Um, and then it just kind of looks like it's kind of um, all fitted nicely. Um, and then I think that's it. I want to show you for the rest of it. And then we're just going to finalize, make this a PDF and in the next video.